Okay, so this is a basic mod pack installation tutorial. The first thing that you're going to want to do is head to the Discord. If you are not a member of the Discord, you want to head over to Reddit. Uh, Reddit.com slash r slash firepro. There's a link up here at the top that says mod pack Discord. You're going to click that and it is going to join the Discord for you. You're going to pop in on the rules page, um, read them, and then go down here to either release version downloads or test version uploads. So the test version uploads will have the latest test version of the mod pack. The test version is buggier, but has more features. The release version is generally more stable, and but is not quite as up to date. Um, today I'm going to show you how to install the release version. Doing the test version is exactly the same. The, you just download it from the other channel. So you're going to click here where it says pwgrpatcher.zip. You're going to need this file. So you click it, hit yep. It's going to bring you to a Yahoo, or not a Yahoo, a Google Drive link. You're going to download. Apparently, it will take forever. Browse to your Fire Pro directory. Um, generally, this is in where you install your Steam games. For me, it is D colon Steam, Steam apps, common. Fire Pro Wrestling World. And once you're here, you can go ahead and hit open or save or whatever the button is. Ah, it thinks that I'm select. There we go. Save. Um, if it asks you if you have an already downloaded thing, if it exists and you want to overwrite it, hit yes. Once you have downloaded the patcher, you can close that out. We can go back here to the Discord. And you're going to need to come back and get this modpack.rar file. Do the same thing. It's going to bring you to Google Drives. You can say download. It's going to pop up a warning that this file is too big for it to do the autovirus scan. That's fine. Hit download anyway. Go in here, go ahead to modpack.rar and go save. Yes. And with those two things downloaded, you can go ahead and extract them. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the patcher.zip file. Hit extract to. And you want to select that same directory. Uh, D colon backslash steam. Steam apps common fire pro wrestling world. The yours could be C colon program files. It's just wherever you have your Steam stuff installed. Like I said, for me, that is D colon Steam. So you just select the base folder here, Fire Pro Wrestling World, and hit OK. And then if it asks you to uh, replace files, hit Yes to All, and it will do its thing. Once you have done the patcher, you need to come in and do the mod pack in much the same way. You just open up the downloaded RAR file, hit Extract to. You're going to browse to that directory again. Uh, like I said, for me, it is Steam or D colon Steam Steam Apps Common Fire Pro Wrestling World. For you, it might be slightly different, but it's going to be uh, Steam Apps Common Fire Pro Wrestling World. No matter where you have Steam installed, those will be the next uh, folder. You hit OK. You hit yes to all if it asks you if you want to overwrite things. And you are good to go at that point. You have it installed the mod pack. We're going to come over here to the Fire Pro Wrestling World folder um, and go to the patcher. Once in the patcher, if it doesn't look like this, uh, if it isn't blue and doesn't have the patch Fire Pro World but not the unpatch button, uh, some patchers have an unpatch button that no longer works. If your patcher has the unpatch button, you have an older version of the patcher, you need to go re-download the patcher. Um, this version is required for um, the more recent versions of the mod pack. You're going to go to the modpack.dll. 
you'll check off anything you want. I pretty much use everything. Um, there are very few things that I don't use. And the other thing you're going to want to check off is this uh, Z Wrestler Data Manager DLL. You're going to need to make sure that that's checked and that the mod pack is checked over here. And then everything you want in it is checked over there. And then you're going to hit Patch Fire Pro World, and it's going to do its thing. And once that closes, your game is patched, your mod pack is installed, and you're ready to play. You could just launch the game from there. All right, I hope that this was helpful. Um, and it's shorter than the current tutorial, and it's more uh, up-to-date than the current tutorial. So hopefully this will help curb some of the mistakes in the current tutorial video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the Discord.